What's going on guys, Helvetica here, and today I want to show you, in my opinion, what the best free video editing software is if you're editing for YouTube, professionally, uh, school, class, project, I don't know. Uh, if you just really want to edit videos clean, easy, for free, we have DaVinci Resolve. Uh, it's spelled right up here in the top left. You can see DaVinci, D-A-V-I-N-C-I -I Resolve. I will have a link in the description to where you can download this. And basically, I'm going to just go through it really quickly here. What it is, is you have your main screen right here, you open up your project, make sure you run as an administrator, you will run into errors like I did, and you find your files where your media is, you can have pictures, videos, and uh, you drag the pictures down to here, and this is your media pool, I have a couple videos and pictures in here, you go to your editing area, it's a bit laggy right now, I think it was, it's was it been open for a couple hours, plus I just got done rendering another video in here, I just wanted to use that for reference. As you can see here, it shows you your video. Yeah, see some of it's gone. Uh, this is kind of a corrupt file, but it just gives you a basic idea of what you have here. Your audio bar is here. Your picture is here. You can edit all this position and stuff. What I basically do is I drag in a video from my media pool, and I'll say take this, and if I want to cut a part out, I'll slice it there, and I'll slice it there, and I'll right-click, I'll click copy, and I'll drag this over. Obviously, this won't be edited so you have a fresh thing to work on fresh canvas you can part cut the parts out you don't want clean the video up and uh, basically just edit what you want you can drag pictures over on top of the existing video and make those pictures as long as you want see as you can see up there right uh, oh so I guess it's not corrupt it's just not showing the file there but as you can see you can drag that on top of it put it above it wherever you want and uh, it's just really simple and fluent and then after that you can kind of color grade it here I've never actually used this color grade feature um, I'm not really too interested in it. I don't really know how it works, to be honest with you. I couldn't help you there. And then deliver, you come here and you click, you edit all this stuff, QuickTime, MPEG-4 video, uh, the quality, FPS, and your safe save path and what you want to name it. And then you add to the render queue and start the render. This one was completed in 23 minutes. It was a very short video. And basically this thing is what I use to edit all my videos. It's fast. You can see the audio wave so you know where to cut. Uh, it's got a media pool here. Uh, it does not support, I don't think it supports MP3 files. So if you're importing audio, you have to use a converter such as File Blender here, which all you do is you open it up, you drop the file in, and it converts it and puts it into this out folder right here. But I use this out folder also for my media. So um, Another thing that you will maybe have is if you record with the front camera on your iPhone and it's not a constant frame rate, there's a thing called variable frame rate, you may run into audio problems. What I like to do there is I have this little tool here, it's called Handbrake, and uh, you can download this for free too. And basically what this does is it allows you to convert it to a constant frame rate. You open it up, click on the uh, audio, or no, the video section, and then click on constant frame rate, same as source frame rate. Uh, use the source frame rate and then click constant frame rate and it'll go through convert it for you You can drop it in DaVinci and edit it. Uh, no problem If you have any questions about this editor you downloaded it and you have a problem with it Just ask me leave a comment down below uh, I'm gonna try to help you out with that as best I can so that's been it This is the best free video editing software in my opinion It works so good so fluent you can edit all your stuff here You see the audio waves you can manage the audio levels cut you know raise some parts see right here I can mute that if I wanted because I cut both sides of it you got a cut tool a drag tool not sure what this is you know like I said oh that's to expand it say if you had extra audio there you can collapse it like that uh, expand this audio oh, there's just a bunch of features guys I really use it to cut pieces out that I don't need in my video and to put pictures over it it's when I'm doing a video like the iPhone video where I need to show something up on screen and I want it to look nice and clean so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, guys. Let's go for a couple likes on this video. I usually don't get that many, but uh, let's go for a couple likes on this video. And if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe so you guys can see my newest content. Um, so if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. It's free, and you'll see all my latest content. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.